Welcome back Magic the Rescuing fans for our Jumpstart Redemption Box. If you watched watch the last video, uh, we got so much duplication out of the Jumpstart Box, it was kind of crazy. I flew through it because it was the same pack after the same pack after the same pack. We got like three pirates, two tree huggers, all the same. It was just really weird, so we kind of took that as a mulligan. And now we're going to open up this box here. And we've got our fantastic little money toad here. He's going to help us out. He's going to bless it a little bit. We bathed it in, a, in lavender before we started. It's kind of our ritual anyway, but we didn't bathe the last one in lavender. So we did it to this one. Hopefully that got all of the nastiness and, and funkiness out of the last one. And we're going to move into this and we're going to get some unicorns, maybe some elves, and just really cool, uh, really cool packs in here. That's what we're hoping for. Who knows, we might even get a misprint land, which apparently is the real deal. Um, I saw some pictures, they kind of look fake online, uh, but then it's been confirmed, I've seen some pack openings that there are some quote unquote dual lands. So who knows, maybe we'll get some of those in here, but all I'm hoping is for some cool pulls uh, to redeem that last box. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Look at he's where is he? He's calling his shot. He's calling his shot. Unicorns, here we come. All right. Mix and match. That's the idea. You can't mix and match if you get all the same packs, right? Okay. Left. Center right, that's how we're gonna do it. Left, center, right. I watched one box opening that was like eight mythics. I think I've gotten maybe four. So here we go, all right. Wish me luck, cross your fingers, pet the money toad for good luck. All right, here we go. First up, plus one. Okay, that's what we're starting with is the plus one. I don't think I've seen this one yet. And that's going to be our primeval bounty. Very nice. That's our first mythic first pack. A very good start. I am an invigorating surge, so very cool. The Wildwood Scourge Hydra, that's the poster child for the plus one. Nice, that is a good way to start out here. Starting off with a mythic, not a bad idea. Not bad at all. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this today. We're gonna move the mythic out and track it. And we'll also move anything out that's got really good value to it. All right, second packet. What the heck? Okay. Is this gonna happen again? I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was all mythics. Plus one again. With the mythic primeval bounty. Okay. Well, we know what's in this one, so we'll just put that over here. Rogues, okay. Now we're moving on, okay? That would have been really weird if it was another plus one. And we got the Thieves Guild Enforcer there. We'll put our rares here too, I guess. I love the Una's Black Guard. That's such a great card. All right. The Nightshade Stinger. Okay, so two Mythics and two Packs. But it's the same mythic. I asked it in the last one, but I'm not sure there's enough product out there. Discarding. Okay. Now, this could be Tiny Bones. I believe that the discarding can be Tiny Bones or it can be something else. We pulled the something else last time. 
Okay, what's it going to be? Nope, it's the something else again. Liliana's Reaver. Come on now. And then Nixithid. Okay, well. Man, Tiny Bones is elusive, I guess. That's why everybody wants them. Okay. Just a few packs left in that first stack. Remember that there's 24 packs in the Jumpstart, but they come with 20, uh, 20 cards each. Witchcraft. Ooh, I haven't pulled a Witchcraft yet. The Bog Brew Witch. Oh, yes. And then there's the Witch of the Moors. That's, the, that's actually good. Double rare there. This is already turning out to be a better... A better uh, box already. Cool. Witchcraft. All right. So two mythics in the first stack. And the Witch of the Moors. I think that that's a really good card. Oh, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, I did not have to open up an M21 box to pull Teferi. I had to open a Jumpstart box and it had to be my redemption box. How cool is that? Pretty awesome. He's in here, I'm pretty sure. It can't say Teferi on the front and then not to have a uh, Teferi in there. And I believe that's gonna be our third mythic. And there he is, Teferi, Master of Time. How cool. Yes, that's so awesome. Put him in the mythic pile. Put him in the rare pile. Telerian Kraken, Exclude, Tarlin's Invocation, Teferi's Tutelage, and Opt, and Arcanist, the Leave in the Dust, the uh, Prescient Chimera, is that that's how you say it? Sage Rose Savant, the Thriving Isle, Teferi's Protege, and the cool M21 Island in there. Sweet! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is the kind of jumpstart box that we should have been opening. All right, two packs left in the first stack and it's already been super exciting. Three mythics already. Rogues again, here we go, okay. Another rogues. This one is going to be Gonti, Lord of Luxury. So it's a different one. And it's also got the double rare with the Thieves Guild Enforcer. Sweet. We will take that. Another Una's Black Guard in there. See, this is cool now. Love those Jumpstart lands. They are just awesome. Can you believe it that two weeks from Friday, we will be into Double Masters? I can't believe it. It's like rapid fire, everything that's going on right now. Okay. Got another discarding here. Oh man, I'm nervous. I already told you what could be in the discarding. We already got the other one. What's it gonna be? And there he is! This is awesome! Oh man, this is a great redemption box. There's Tiny Bones, the Trinket Thief. We finally got him. Oh, this is a great redemption box. This is crazy. We are at four Mythics. I'm shaking a little bit. We're at four Mythics, and we've only gone through the first stack. How cool is that? The Ravenous Chupacabra. Oh, this is so cool. This is what Jumpstart was supposed to be. I'm so glad we got this extra box. I'm so glad it was available. There's really not a whole lot available out there, so... There we go. First stack complete. On to the middle stack. Okay, four mythics in that first stack. We got a tiny bones and it's a fairy and two primal bounties. Uh, that's a lot of good value right there. Dogs. Okay, we got our dogs. It is a staple in this set, obviously with Rin and Sari out there. Oh, we got the pack leader. Oh, it's the good one. We got the Isma Isamaru Hound of Conda as our uh, second rare. Man, that's that's the good dogs pack, sweet. There's a bad dogs pack and a good dogs pack, you see. The bad dogs, 
they don't get the treats. But the good dogs, they get the treats. We got released the dogs in there, the supply runners, Alpine Watchdog, the Companion, and my favorite, the Rambunctious Mutt. I have one of these. The Trusty Retriever. I don't have a Trusty Retriever yet, but I will get one down the road for sure. And then don't forget about the Dog Plains. Uh, very, very cool uh, jump start land there. Man, we are destroying it this time. It is making up for that ugly little second box that we had. Okay. What do we got? Another dogs. Okay. So that's the... Is that going to be the theme? We're going to open up two duplicates in a row, and then it's going to be greatness after that. The pack leader. And look at that. I will take that pack leader and it is a maru hound of conda we already know what the heck else is in here i'll skip ahead to the rambunctious mutt and the trusty retriever we know what's going on in here oh man okay now what's this gonna be i don't mind it when it's duplicates like that and we've got uh, mythic surrounding it. What do we got here? Cats. Ooh, I didn't get a cats last time. Okay. Is it going to be good cats or bad cats? What's your favorite? Dogs or cats? Leave it in the comments below. What do we got? We got the lurking predators and the feline sovereign. So a two rare pack again. We have gotten a lot of those. I love Keeper of Fables. That is such a cool cat card. Man, we are going wild here. We are going rambunctious mutt on that box. Tiny Bones and a Teferi. I totally even forgot that you could pull a Teferi out of this. Reanimated. Oh, look at that crow. The crow of dark tidings. I'm pretty sure that's that artwork. All right. I haven't seen one of these yet. So what do we got? Reanimate, of course. Carry on grub. Meyer Triton. A gourmand. Eliminate. Okay. Rise again. And there's that crow of dark tidings. Such a cool art on that very cool card miasmic mummy he's cool too oh wow look at that look at that jumpstart swamp look at the zombies they're crazy in there red-eyed fiends okay we're about halfway through the second stack moving along here what a way better box so much more fun what do we got Smashing. Okay. Pulled a couple of these. There's a different a couple of different smashings that you can get out there. This one is gonna be sweet. A tally. Primal storm. Awesome. Dinosaur action going on. Okay. Oh, and the ogres. Anake Ogre, Turret Ogre. I love Fling. What a cool card. I think totally underutilized fling, bone pit brute, mono red, goblin fling deck. How about that? Okay. Woo! No mythics in the second stack yet, but we did get another discarding here. <laughs> if we pull two tiny bones, I might have a freak out session here. Is it possible to pull two tiny bones? Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. I just pulled a second mythic tiny bones trinket thief. Um, I guess this is awesome duplication. This is... Okay, yes, I will take that. That is very cool. Oh my god, this is a crazy box. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say other than this is really cool. Um, 
I feel like a burglar rat right now. That's what I feel like. I, I went and burgled this box and burgled out some crazy mythic duplication here. So that's two different mythics that have been duplicated, the Primal Bounty and Tiny Bones. And obviously Tiny Bones is hugely sought after. Under the sea. Womp womp. What's his name? I always forget the crab's name. Or the lobster, whatever he's called. The Pursued Whale and the Telerian Kraken. Why do I forget his name? And Little Mermaid. Leave it in the comments below so I can remember. I'm probably going to look it up anyway, but who knows it? Who knows the name? Alright, last pack of the middle and second stack here. We are destroying it right now. What do we got here? A spell casting. Okay. A red spell casting. I think the other spell casting is blue. And I think that that's where Baron is. What's this one? This one is the Double Vision. Okay. Shock, Thrill of Possibility, Blind Blast, Lightning Visionary, Thermo Alchemist. Ooh, and look at that mountain. What a cool mountain that is. Jumpstart lands. Watch out, they are amazing. Okay. Getting on to the last stack now. We are five mythics with two different duplications, two tiny bones, a Teferi. Man, this is shaping up to be awesome. Enchanted. Ooh, I don't even think I've seen this one. Very cool artwork on the front of that. Enchanted. Okay. What's it gonna be? Core Spirit Dancer, okay. That's cool. With the creepy children, blessed spirits, right behind that. Oh, and the face of divinity, that's the poster child there. Stonehaven Pilgrim, so some core action going on here. Clerics, and oh, throwing a couple dogs and, and a couple knights. Ooh, and look at that plains. My god, that plains is just phenomenal. That might be one of the best ones I've seen. That's a crazy looking planes right there. Awesome. Starting off that third stack right with something I haven't seen yet. Very cool. And a tree hugging, okay. I don't, see I don't mind throwing in a tree hugging when you give me two tiny bones and it's a fairy. Primordial Sage and the Burl Fist Oak. And a few tree folk that are going to be in here. The Lanawar Visionary, love that card. Ambassador Oak. The Gnarled Sage, he's the poster child there. And the Tree Folk Forest. Very cool. What do you think? Are there any more mythics in here? We're already up to five. Archaeology. Okay. We pulled a few archaeologies already. This is <laughs> very nice. I actually think that this is the good one. Uh, the Scarecrone there is the... I think this is the better of the archaeologies. Have not pulled this one yet, so that's really cool and a buried ruin behind that. The Meteor Golem, a Scuttle Mutt, Aether Spell Bomb, Jousting Dummies, lots of Scarecrows. Scarecrows are cool. Um, obviously, there's the Reaper King that made Scarecrows cool, and then they banned him. And then they said, nope, no more Scarecrows for you. Still played in casual though. Ooh, vampires. We haven't pulled this one yet. Okay. Very nice. 
And it's gonna be Vito, Thorn of the Duskrows. Very nice, very cool. Silver Smoke Ghoul, Blood Host, Blood Bond Vampire, Gifted Aether Born, that's a good card. Sanguine Indulgence, the Agonizing Siphon, Nocturnal Feeder, and then cool Vampiric Castle Swamp. Nice. Awesome. We haven't pulled the vampires yet. That's our first one. Okay. Last half of the last stack. Another reanimated. Okay. Again, not a bad duplication if this is the one I think it is. If it's the same one we got earlier. And it is with the reanimate. Very nice. That That's a very good card. And we know what's in this. Lots of zombies, the Crow of Dark Tidings, and the Zombie Swamp. All right, three packs left. Three packs left, what's it gonna be? Spooky, okay. Going into the spooky. With Liliana's Standard Bearer. Okay. Barter in Blood. So our right side has been a little lackluster here. But once again, I can't complain with two Tiny Bones pulls to Fairy. Two packs left. We really wanted a Unicorn so badly. Predatory, okay. Going with the Naith of the Dire Hunt. That's a very good pull right there. I've already gotten one of these, but that's I will not complain about getting another one of those. This is a good little deck here. That is awesome. I love the Truffle Snout. What a great card that is. No Mythics so far. Are we going to end on a Mythic? Uh, no Mythics in the final right-hand stack. Are we going to end with one? What's it going to be? Here we go. Drum roll, and we're going into, oh my god, <laughs> yes, look at how glorious it is, look at that horn, the unicorns have arrived, I'm pretty sure there's only one pack of unicorns, wow, what a way to end, I was just talking about it, I'd almost given up, and... There it is, Emiel the Blessed. Amazing, Mythic on the final pack. How cool is that? And the Blessed Sanctuary, which is also an amazing card. Brightmare, Faith's Fetters, Inspiring Unicorn, the poster child for the unicorns. Very nice. Valoris Steed. The Daybreak Charger, it's just chock full of unicorns in here. An Inspired Charge, the Mesa Unicorn, the Ronum Unicorn, Thriving Heath, and look at the planes on this one. Charging Cloud Unicorns. Oh my god, this is amazing. Phenomenal jumpstart box here. Redemption City, how cool is that? Oh my god. I'm going nuts here. Two Tiny Bones, two Primal Bounties, one Teferi and an M.E.L. the Blessed. Holy crap, and we, did, we got a lot of good rares in here as well. This is definitely redemption. Thank you so much for watching Magic the Rescuing. Make sure you check out the links and the details below. And if you like it, like it, and if you love it, subscribe.